What you're looking at here are the various parts that you will need to make your speaker. The first step is to assemble the magnet that is going to fit at the bottom of your cup. Take the two ring magnets and they should already be sticking together because they're pretty strong magnets, but if not, take those two ring magnets and put them together. They are breakable, so be careful to not slam them together or drop them on the floor. Next, um, take the machine screw and put it through the hole of the um, washer that has the smaller hole and it should not pull through. If the screw does pull through, you'll need a little tiny washer um, just to ensure that the screw head does not pull through the, the hole in the middle of the washer. Okay, next, take the nut and screw it on to the screw and do this all the way, you know, till it's tight. So just, you can just do this with your fingers. You don't need any special kind of tool, but just make sure that that nut is on really good and tight. Okay, and so now what you have is kind of like a little stand for the straw. So the straw eventually is going to just sit in there. And so what the screw is doing is it's keeping the straw in the center of the magnet. So the next thing you're gonna do is take this little stand that you just built and run it through the middle of the two magnets. And what you wanna do is just position that in the center just by moving it gently with your hands and sliding it um, along the surface of the magnet so that that zinc washer is in the center. And so what you'll have is you should have, you should see that the straw now is running, if it sits over that, that screw, it's sitting right in the center of the magnet. Next, take the other washer and just place it on top. It's going to want to stick where it wants. So again, just use your fingers and push it so that it's in the center. The next step is to place your little magnet sandwich down at the bottom of the cup. What I'm going to do to try to keep the um, magnet from kind of rocking around at the bottom of the, of the cup. I'm going to place just a little kind of folded piece of paper towel or it could be just toilet paper, any any kind of soft paper. And just now when I put the little magnet in the bottom, it's not going to move around at all. All right, so this now can be put aside. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wind magnet wire around the base of the straw here. It's very important that you leave a long end free because when you wind your coil around the base of the straw, electricity needs to come in, it needs to go around inside the wire, and it needs to come out. So make sure you take about a six inch length like this and just allow that to be free. So put your thumb over the, the magnet wire right there and leave this long end free. You can trim it later. And then take your other hand and start winding the coil around the bottom of the straw like so. You can see it's, you can see the wire on the bottom of the straw. Now you want to wind so that the wire is fairly tight, however, you don't want to pull too hard on it because it's pretty fragile. It's Like I said, it's only 36 gauge. If you pull hard on this wire, it's going to break. And if it breaks, then electricity isn't going to flow and the speaker will not work. So take about 20 feet off the large spool and wrap the wire around the bottom of the straw as shown here. Okay, 
So that's about enough. So I'm going to cut this one off and I'm going to make sure it's about six or seven inches. Okay, so there I have my coil. But if I let go, it would all unravel. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie a simple square knot in the bottom and um, really just one square knot will do and that will hold the wire in place. So now you can see we've got our coil. The next step is to scrape the red enamel off um, the magnet wire at the ends where you're going to connect to the wire. So you're going to use sandpaper to do this. So just take um, a piece of sandpaper and you can fold it and then just scrape just scrape the red enamel off the magnet wire and as you do this you'll see the yellow copper color underneath. So you're going to do that to both ends of the wire so just lightly scrape and do not pull too hard because if you pull too hard and you're too aggressive with this step you're going to break this wire. You can see here the insulation is gone at the ends and that's where we're going to make our connection to the speaker. The next step is to cut a hole in the plastic cup. So let's move this out of the way and just look at the cup. The the, the straw is going to go down through the middle and the coil is around the straw so somehow you get you need to get the ends of the two wires out of the cup. So what we're going to do is we're going to poke a hole in the cup right above the level of the magnet. And so to do this there's you know a number of different ways you can do it but I'm just going to use the sharp end of these scissors and I'm just going to poke the hole right here. Watch out, you don't poke your fingers. And you don't want a real jaggedy hole because I don't want to I don't want the hole to break the wire. So just what you can do is kind of make a little window like that. And now I have a place where the wire can come out through the cup. The next step is I'm going to take those two wires and kind of fold them in such a way that I can poke them through that hole and then grab the ends of the wire. So you can see I'm pulling those wires through and now the coil is going down over the screw and the coil is sitting there between the two magnets as, so, as such, but the two ends of the coil are coming out through that hole, as you can see. And that's how we're going to connect to the speaker. Next, you're going to take the lid and put it down over the top of your speaker. 